Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick. In this episode, I'll show you how to build and use the V-Charging Relay. In your Thaumonomicon, on the Thaumaturgy tab, between the wand recharge pedestal and harnessing V, you'll find the V-Charging Relay. This device allows you to charge your wand while it's in your arcane work table automatically. It alleviates the need to run around charging your wand to do more arcane crafting. To build one, you'll need a V relay, some great wood rods, iron ingots with some ignis, ordo, and air. Once you've done that, you can place it on your arcane work table by shift right clicking. So let's go ahead and craft one. And we'll scan it. You need a source of V to charge your wand. If you have an energized node with all six primal aspects, it's pretty easy to just place the charging relay near the node. But those are hard to come by. Another method is to use V relays and tune them to specific frequencies and switch between them as needed. It's not quite as automated, but it's easier to set up. You can tune a V relay by right clicking with your wand to cycle through the frequencies. White means it's untuned and will accept V from any source. Any other color means it will accept V only from untuned sources or sources of the same frequency. So you can see I've got this one tuned to green and this one tuned to red. Let's go ahead and place the charging relay and I'll show you how it works. So it's now going to accept from the nearest relay it can find. And if we have a wand in here, you can see it start charging immediately. But it's only charging Ignis, Ordo, and Perdicio. Because it's tuned to the red frequency, which is getting energy from this node, but it only has those three aspects in it. So, if we wanted it to tune to the other frequency, we can take a wand, and have it tune to the green frequency and now it will start tuning for the green frequency which has Terra, Air, and Aqua in it. So one last note is to be careful where you place your energized nodes. Energized nodes are always untuned sources. So if something is near enough to accept V from an energized node it might prioritize that source over a tuned relay. You can block this by closing the line of sight with a solid block like dirt. So if I blocked this, it wouldn't connect this relay and might go straight to that node as long as it wasn't more than eight blocks away. But if you break the dirt, the relay will eventually retune back to the first source it finds. Now notice we have stopped getting more particle effects over here. It's probably charged up for these aspects. So now we'll tune it back to the red source or untuned and it will find the red source, the nearest one, and it will start charging those. Okay, that covers V charging relays. See you next time.